What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Fox Wade, government contracting hero. And I'm here to give you something quick and easy that you can use to figure out what did the government pay on a previous contract? We all know that contracts come and they go because they're awarded, they're expired. And then there's always this thing called a recompete or there's a new opportunity out there that's never been paid before, but it's similar in scope to other different contracts. So one thing that I struggle with in the beginning of my government contract career is that I will be going after these seven, eight figure contracts, but my pricing will be off by like four, five million dollars. One time I was off by 15 million dollars. I don't know what happened, but it, it, it happened. So I want to be able to show you one strategy that I picked up that was able to be like, oh, that's what the price target is right now. I can kind of fluctuate on a few different things when it comes to my pricing. So that way I can better have an opportunity to win that contract. All right. So let me take you all through the quick steps here. So I'm just use one little quick example, right? One little quick example. And this example is, we're going to blow it up just a little bit. So I'm going to use the Department of Homeland Security uh, acquisition planning forecast system, right? So I'm just going to go do a Google search of DHS uh, um, a forecast. And then we'll click on a site. I'm going to go to browse all forecast records because I want to see what do they plan to push out there, right? What is going on? What opportunities are coming down the pipeline? I'm going to use NACE code 541611 for administrative management and general management consulting to be able to filter through all these hundreds and hundreds of opportunities with the Department of Homeland Security. Okay, I'm just gonna pick one, let's see, acquisition support services. Yep, it's a half a million dollar contract to a million dollars. It's a follow on contract, meaning it's gonna be a recompete and it's gonna be coming out July 1st, 2023. I'm sorry, it's gonna be coming out um, very, very soon or being awarded very, very soon. So I'm just gonna pick that one, okay? So once you pick it, it's going to give you all the important information that you need, right? Now, once I um, get all the pertinent information, I'm going to use the contract number that, are, that was awarded on the previous contract or the current contract, which is um, supplied right here. I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to go to a website called fpds.gov. It is the federal procurement data system. This is where you can find a bulk of information on, on companies that have been awarded federal government contracts, okay? So I'll put the contract number in here and I'm gonna do a search. So when I did my search, put the contract number in, it gave me all the information that was listed before, the incumbent, dynamics, the contract number. But on here, I can see a little bit more in-depth in depth information. So for example, um, the last contract, and I'm going to sort by date signed. So the last year, September, a contract was signed, and it was signed for 348K. All right? Then if you go through the historical information, uh, the previous, uh, maybe it was the first option year, was signed, but the awarded contract was here. So it was officially awarded in August of 2020. So I'm gonna go to scroll all the way down to the contract that had zero. That is the official awarded contract. That was the first contract that came out and it was awarded. I'm gonna click on view. Now I get to see all the important information here, right? So the contract was signed in August, 2020. It started on September 28th. And then the estimated completion date was 2023, which is coming up this year, right? So September 27th, 2023, they want to make sure that they have somebody in place before that. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to see was it set aside uh, contract. I don't think so. No, but it also says right here, internal controls and support services. We already seen that with the title before. It's a blanket purchase agreement. No. Uh, but you can see here that the contract overall value for three years was $1,686,566.88.
Okay, so now I know when this opportunity is about to hit. The, it's about to hit the street here pretty soon. If it haven't, I know that the previous awardee came in around that amount. So now I get to use this intel, this data, to figure out. Okay, now when I start to build my proposal or my response to this, I got all the intel I need. I know who the previous incumbent was. I know how much they charge them. And now I can price accordingly on this, this recorded information. This is all public information and it's all free. I didn't have to sign into anything. It's all free information for you to use. Now, the other kicker to it all is that let's say you're just not ready, but you know that they're going to recompete on it, right? You know, dynamics, I'm pretty sure they're going to go after this opportunity again. So what you can do is that you can do a little bit more research and you can get in contact with them and ask them, hey, would you like to partner on it? We would like to be a subcontractor on it, or we want to prime it and we want you to be a sub, all right? So, hey, I appreciate y'all. Hopefully this was very helpful. Utilize the federal procurement database tool. Like Take the training on it. It is a very, very important, robust tool that can really help you get the intel and information that you need when you're going after opportunities. Once again, it's your boy, Fox Wade. Peace. Thank you.